Hi everybody! It's Miss Patty from Time Together at Chandler Newberger. We're in my basement and this is where I keep all my art supplies and I have artwork for my kids and we have a drum set and electric guitars and other kind of guitars because my son likes to make music. My son Peter is a musician. So let's sing hello. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. It's so nice to see you again. Let's sing a song. Let's sing the wheels on the bus, and then I'm going to show you how to do a project at home. Okay, here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. You know how I like to go fast. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The driver of the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver of the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. The people on the bus bump up and down, up up and down, up and down, the people on the bus bump up and down, all through the town. And it wakes up all the babies, and the babies on the bus cry, wah, 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 wah. And the babies on the bus cry, wah, 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 all through the town. And the parents on the bus say, shh, 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 shh. And the parents on the bus say, shh, 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 all through the town. Okay, it's time for a project. Are you ready? I am. Today I'm going to show you something kind of messy, but also kind of fun. And the only kind of paint that I have at home to use is acrylic paint. So it would be better with temper paint, but I don't have any of that right now. So I'm going to use my acrylic paint and just wash my hands really really well but look what I'm gonna do I'm going to paint my hand blue I'm picked blue actually I can dip my hand in it too I picked blue because it's one of my favorite colors I'm just gonna paint my hand all over if I had a paper plate I could have put paint on a paper plate and then dip my hand in it that way because what I want to do is I'm going to make a nice big hand print on my paper. So here's my blue hand. It'd be kind of funny if I wiped my nose with it, then I'd have a blue nose. And I'm going to take my blue hand and I'm going to just put it right in the middle of my paper. Peel my hand up. Now look, I have a blue hand print now. I'm going to let it sit and dry for a little bit and then I'll come back. back again. My handprint is all dry. Here it is. Here's one. And here is another. This one looks a little blobby and so I decided I'd make two just in case I make a mistake. So the next step is to take a pencil, put your hand back over your print, your handprint, and then trace your hand. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna go all the way around my hand, all the way around each one of my fingers. I'm gonna try and do it pretty carefully because I'm gonna use this pencil mark to cut around. Now you might need somebody to help you trace your hand and you might need somebody to cut it out for you and that's okay. 
So here is my handprint. And I think maybe you can see the pencil line that I drew all the way around. Now I'm going to take my scissors. And if you need to, you can ask an adult to help you with this. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along the pencil line all the way around. There's one finger, here comes the next finger. third finger going to my fourth finger and then all the way around my thumb my thumb is so bumpy looking now there's my cutout hand. Look, it's waving at you. Hi, everybody. Haven't seen you in so long. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these two fingers, this one and this one, and I'm going to fold them down just like this. Did you know that in American Sign Language, this is the sign for I love you. So if you have your thumb out and your pointer finger up and your pinky up, that means I love you. This is the letter I in American Sign Language. This is the letter L in American Sign Language. And this is the letter Y in American Sign Language. When you hold them all up, that means I love you. And if you hold them up and you cross your two fingers together like that, that means I love you very much. So now look, there's just a little opening right in the center where the fingers cover it up. And right in the middle, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm gonna draw a heart right there in that middle. And I'm going to write, I love you. See how it says it right there? I love you. And I can fold the fingers down and my little message is hidden. And now I can give this to somebody who I really love. So that's it. That's the project. You can paint on your hand. You can put paint on a paper plate. You can use a stamp pad to make a hand print. Or you can use some markers, some washable markers, and get your hand a little damp and draw on your hand and make a hand print. And you can make one of these at home. Okay, it's time to sing goodbye. Adi 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 adios. Adi up above and adi down below. Adi from my head right down to my toes. Singing adi 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 adios. Goodbye.